I guess that's a game where you take a few lessons out of that. What's what's the biggest thing to learn when you come over to W? Yeah, well, we gotta keep we gotta keep playing hard. They're uh, they're coming they're coming hard on us. They're not really giving us any uh, time, so we just have to make sure that we uh, any any time that we get, we have to make sure that everything's hard and um, you know we'll play with boys back there. So you know, there's a lot of things you can take out of it. They played a lot uh, different than we've seen the first two games. Um, and but we didn't play our best game by all means. How did they play different? Well, they're just uh, they were coming, they were forcing us out there. They um, they're finishing checks. You know, the first couple of games, I don't think they were uh, finishing the checks as much. But uh, you know, other than that, I don't think we re you know we gave them a lot of opportunities that we have to we have to really clean up. How much of a learning example is that last period for the younger guys in this locker room? No, it's not just the younger guys. It's for everybody. Um, you know, we. You can't take a minute off. You can't take a second off, and you know to, to lose one on, or to go get one closer on the on our power play. It just can't really happen, especially with less than two minutes left. So uh, they definitely had a lot of opportunities there at the end that we have to uh, that we have to clean up, and I'm sure we'll go over that tomorrow. Um, you guys take the series lead, but obviously they have a lot to take away from this, from this game. Do you feel like even though you have the series lead, you might not really have the momentum going into uh, game four? Well, it. I mean, we will have the momentum. We have, you know, the crowd behind us. We, they give us a lot of energy out there, so that's some, one thing that we can feed off of. But there is some things to take away with it. We'll watch video. We'll we'll go over the things that we didn't do well and what they're doing, and maybe change some things around. But other than that, you know, wins the win. But yeah, there's a lot of things that we need to focus on and bear down at. What'd you make of Subban when he came in? Uh, I mean, he was good. I don't think we tested him very early. But uh, you know, for a guy that hasn't played you know, a playoff game in a while and played at this, you know, at this caliber, you know, these shots, and um, he did pretty well. So we're just gonna have to, you know, see who they play next game. But he played, he played really well. He kept him in it, and you can you can see what happened towards the end. What do you guys play that you? with you guys uh, over for a period and a half? How well, you carry that in a game three. Uh, yeah, we just we came out hard. We seemed like we were all over him and. We just, uh, that's one thing we gotta do. We gotta force our D, we gotta, we gotta skate, we gotta hit, we gotta finish checks. So it's, uh, and be, whenever we have the chance to get the puck out, get the puck out and have it clean. So it's just the little things that we need to focus on and clean up. But it was a good first period and a half. But, you know, the rest of the game was, you know, the second period wasn't anywhere close to what we played in the first period. So, uh, you know, it's a 60 minute game, it's, plot, you know, could be more than 60 minutes, so there's a lot of things that you can take from that. Why do you guys more times than not start so fast in this building? <laughs> well, it's just a, the energy that's behind us. We have great fan support. Um, you know, it's just we feed off that. We have, uh, you know, the guys who are starting uh, have a lot of speed. So um, just lo just those things that we can feed off of, and really with these next couple games coming up, we can build off that.